Hi guys, this is Skylar again. I wanted to go over one of the other additions as I promised I would. It's the pouch here on the side for my hydration system that holds my Nalgene water bottle and a few other things. But the Nalgene water bottle is the one by God Designs. And uh, I just want to show what I carry on the side here. And uh, I'm going to pull all that out. And I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, to stick with the format that I usually go with, I uh, just want to do a, a quick shot of the pouch itself. It's an insulated pouch, Maxpedition makes them. They are, uh, it's a little bit taller than the canister I, that I put in there and that I believe it's made for, but it, overall it, it is a pretty good design and it's really easy to get in and out even with the nesting cup and a few of the things I'll be showing you in just a minute. But it has the webbing inside here, if you can see that. And uh, I put a pouch on the outside for another blade that I keep there. Uh, but anyway, oh, it has the Velcro up top. I believe that's for uh, military type uh, uh, badges to put your name on it or whatever. It has several ways that you can carry it. I strapped it to the side of my uh, Condor too. But uh, what I'll do is just uh, show you basically what I have in it now. Okay, guys, this is pretty much what's in my pouch. Uh, in the front, and had those little the webbing. I keep a couple of these actually, but they're uh, this is the only one that's clean at the time. The others in the washing machine right now. It's just the titanium uh, sport. I'm sure, most of you are familiar with. Uh, in the very bottom, the first thing I throw in is the spirit stove. They, they go by several different names, but I'm sure you're familiar with it. I, put, I use denatured alcohol, which I do carry alcohol in my main pouch of my bag, but it, I also can keep it in there because it's new and the seal is still good. In the front zipper compartment, I have some, uh, basically it's just... Uh, some powder purification that I keep in the front there for clean water. And the way that I have mine set up in the pouch before I drop it down inside, what I do is I have this, which is from uh, the uh, Dave Canterbury website, the Pathfinder School LLC. I'm sorry, the Pathfinder School LLC.com rather. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, it's not a bad design. It's the only thing that I don't like is that when it goes over the stove that I use, it's right on top, and that is ineffective. So I either have to put something down to raise this up, or put this down in a hole. Uh, but overall, I like it a lot. I wish it was just about uh, an inch, inch and a half uh, taller. But anyway, this goes down into the bottom of the pouch, and then. What I do is this fits very well around my bottle and the bottle nests down inside here and then it's inside the pouch just like this and then I keep a bandana on top. The bandana is there for whenever I do any kind of, uh, let me put that into the shot a little bit better for you. The bandana is there for whenever I do any kind of water filtration or anything like that to keep out sediment. But uh, as you can see, that's my setup. I, I really like the way it uh, it functions, keeps it on my side and everything. It's it's a great little rig or kit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if anybody is interested in these bottles, I know they're very hard to find right now, and you can get them on. Uh, particular website that I have a link to on my channel. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them anyway, but uh, I think they were about $25 for the jug, and uh, those that are familiar with them, with them know how sought after they are. But uh, anyway, uh, that's my video on this, and I appreciate you watching, guys. Thanks.